Marvin, not what we're expecting today. No, not what we wanted, not what we were expecting, not what we, we needed. Um, you know, in the first half, obviously, you're going one nil up. Fantastically worked goal for Lee. Does everything right. You know, ball ends up in the top corner. Um, with that being said, there were still a few things in the first half that he pointed out to them that we needed to do better and, you know, take our levels up a little bit. Um, and then, you know, you can see three goals and the amount of the goals we conceded in, in that second half. Three set pieces? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, two penalty kicks and then and then the free kick. Um, you know, we always say goals are avoidable when you, you start going back, but you know, they're, they're, there's mistakes being made. Um, you know, for them. Now, the first one, obviously, I've, I've seen the goals back now. The, the first one, we should do better. Um, you know, on the first contact, on the second contact, we let the player come inside. Um, and then we're going back towards our own goal rather than being aggressive and coming out towards the ball. Free kicks given. And obviously ends up in the back of the net. The second one, I still don't understand how you know we, we end up giving a penalty away in that situation when we look in full control. Just a lack of communication um, in terms of saying clear it or, or anything else. We just don't say anything to each other. Set the ball back. You know, keepers come in, whatever it might be. You know, there's just no communication. And then the third one again, they come inside. They play a one-two. We've got three of our players in and around uh, their attacker who's running forward. And then we overcompensate for some bizarre reason to let the player inside. Then we dangle our foot out. And, you know, you can see two goals in, I think it was four minutes. And give yourself a, an impossible task to then turn over. You're getting the blame for it. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know, yeah, yeah. when they're out there and things like that, you can't legislate for that. No, and, you know, to be honest, uh, you know, some of the players have, have said that, you know, it's that's. It's individual errors, but it's massive individual errors. Um, but I, I'm the manager, you know. I, I'd rather myself take the flak than than the players. Um, you know, I'm here to protect them. So, if if that's what you know how people see it and that's how they want to view it, then of course, you know, I'm in football. I understand how the game works. But as you said, you know, they're just they're massive, massive errors from us. Um, you know, you score two goals at home and you get nothing from a game. You know, it, it's a big problem. And that being said, I don't think Gordon actually had a a save to make or maybe made one save in the skirmish that happened at the other end um, towards the end of the first half but you know, I'm not sure how many shots they had on target outside of their goals and, and still we can see three goals that you know are more than avoidable You are taking some stick from the fans but mm -hmm. the players are very much behind you Lee Conley saying we have to take responsibility Yeah that, that's listen, now that's how football works as I said you know um, of course if you lose a game of football you, you're going you're gonna to get stick you're going to get it so as I said, the fans pay their money. Um, you know, the, the ones who have obviously got that opinion, they pay their money to come in here and you just have to accept it. You have to have kind of thick skin to it, but also we, we need to do better. We know that. Um, it's been frustrating, I think, on the back of obviously last weekend against Edinburgh City as well. Um, I think that's three defeats now in, in 11 games that we have, but we just haven't you know, probably picked up too many jaws within that run um, also, which is, and then, you know, obviously tonight happens. You said there about last week, Edinburgh City with that last minute, well, 96 minute, and then today yeah. they are really being the masters of throwing down for, aren't they? Yeah, you know, again, it's it's probably about you know arranging and communication and, and making sure we're in the right areas when the free kick comes in last week. But then, as I said, you know, the goals that we can see today and, and the penalties that we give away are, are, are just, you know, just not like them. You know, it's just not something that you, you see them do. But as I said, you can't concede three goals in, in 45 minutes and as I said two of those goals came in four minutes spell of each other two penalty kicks you've got to do so much better you've got to be ready to defend um, as I said with the first one there's got to be communication and the second one you know we, we can't dangle our foot out get to the ball keep the player going down the line and if the keeper has to make a save he has to make a save but at least give him a chance I always want to be positive but mm -hmm. does this result today kind of put a dampener on those playoff places? There's 30 points left to play for. So, you know, no is it, the answer to that. It, it puts a damper on it tonight. But, you know, listen, there's more than enough points to, to get us into those playoff spots. But, you know, we, we have to take it one game at a time. And at this moment in time, you know, we didn't take care of what we needed to tonight. Um, so, yeah, listen, takes one hell of a run, Sandra, to go on. The back end of last season, um, you know, the, the players went on a, on a huge run. But, you know, we have to take each game as it comes. We just need to cut out the individual mistakes. It is about, we talked about it, we're going on a run and being consistent. Mm -hmm. And 
Then now, do you think this will be a reality check for them to say you really do, do need to kick on and, and go on that run? No, I think, you know, if you're talking about reality checks, it, you had that in the 96th minute, rather, of last week. You know, it, reality should be hitting you all the time within this game, whether you're winning, you know, losing or drawing. You know, because it's hard to win games of football. You have to go out there, you have to put everything into it. You know, no one feels sorry for you in this game. As I always say, we're pri privileged to do what we do. Um, nobody feels sorry for you. So if you're waiting for 10 games to go to get a reality check, then, you know, that's, that's a problem within itself. A couple of big games coming up that they, mm -hmm. they can go and rectify the mistakes that they've made. In every game, in every game, we can. You know, it's not them, it's not them and, uh, and kind of me and, and the staff. We can, you know, we can rectify those mistakes. And yeah, starting with next week against Sterling Albion. Um, yeah, of course we can do that. But as I said, you know, we need to take accountability for it. We need to make sure it doesn't happen again. We need to understand why it did happen today. And, and we need to do better in those situations. As I said, leading 1-0 at half-time, um, you know, you should never, never lose a game and never lose three goals in the second half.